Jake says that, and uh, Coach joins us now. Congrats, Coach. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Voice sounds uh, like you're tournament ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you surprised? No, no. I'm, I, I knew our guys had this in them. Uh, I'm actually uh, really, really happy for everyone at VCU uh, that's within our program and also everyone that supported us. But let, go back to Selection Sunday. Uh, did you, there was no camera there from CBS to watch your guys' reaction? Where where were you? Where were your kids on Selection Sunday? I was in my office. Uh, all of our young kids were here. I made them come in the office because I wanted them to watch it, uh, regardless of what happened. Uh, I did not get the whole team together because I knew it could go either way. I thought we were going to get in, but I knew there was a chance we might not, and I didn't want that to be the defining moment of our season if, if we were one of the unlucky teams. But when did you guys know, or when did you know, that you had something a little bit more special with this team? Well, I, I always knew that we had it in us, and we played very, very well in our conference tournament, although we did not win the conference tournament championship. And uh, then once we got picked, once we got the opportunity to go to Dayton and play USC, I felt like there was a really good chance for us to advance. Uh, we won that first game, and, and we haven't looked back. What kind of benefit did you get from having a play-in game that got you a little bit more of a head start than everybody else? I think it was a great benefit, Dan. I think it, it gave us confidence. Uh, really, more than anything, it got the jitters, the NCAA tournament jitters out, which is a, a huge component of, uh, of getting started in those games. So uh, I'm glad that, that it played out the way it did. You're 33. When does age, when is it any negative for you? Oh, I don't know. I, I try to use it as a positive. Uh, I, I guess the negative would be I, I don't have the same level of experience as somebody that's 53 or 63 or, or whatever it may be. But you can look at the uh, glass ha as half empty or half full. And, and I use my, my relative youth as an advantage. I have a lot of energy. I have, uh, you know, the ability to relate to our guys. It wasn't too long ago that I was in college. And, and, uh, and it's also something that we have a younger coaching staff. So, you know, we all work together on this and there's, there's no egos involved. We, we look at this thing from a team perspective. He's Shaka Smart, BCU head coach, joining us at the Dan Patrick Show. How long did it take you to embrace the, uh, the first name Shaka? Well, I really didn't have much of a choice. Yeah, but you had to grow up going, oh, no. Or you have to say, all right, good. I, I'm glad. I'm, I'm different than everybody else. Yeah, not at all. I, 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 I viewed it as a, as a positive uh, my whole life. And it's one of those things when you're a kid, when you have a different sort of name, uh, you know, kids can be a little cruel or harsh on you. But uh, I enjoyed it. I, I like being a little bit different, being somewhat unique. And, and that's how I've tried to live my life. How did they pick on you? Well, the, uh, the obvious references, Dan, is, uh, you know, my last name's Smart. So, uh, you know, a lot of times people would say my middle name is not, is, is, is not <laughs> or, or something like that. You know, the, the, the comparisons to Shaka Khan, uh, you know, there's a movie Shaka Zulu, which is, which is about the, the man, the historic figure that I was named after. So, uh, little kid stuff, but, but again, I, I enjoy having a different sort of name I, i'll tell you what i never got confused with a classmate that, that had the same name as me <laughs> have you heard from shaka khan i have not i would love to i'm a big fan <laughs> well I'm, I'm just curious have you heard from keith smart uh, i haven't heard from keith smart i know he, he's he's in coaching he's a very successful coach uh but i did get to meet kenny main last week and now that i'm talking to you i feel like i've kind of completed the uh the whole deal because i you know i uh I used to watch you guys, you, you and Kenny, every single day on Sports Center when I was in college. Well, that was back at Kenyon, and I, I want to know, Kenyon, a real, real, real small liberal arts school in uh, in Ohio, and I, you're the all-time leading uh, assist man, right? I am. Okay. I could have helped those numbers had I gone to Kenyon, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen you shoot it. You're not bad. Not bad. Wait a minute, is that, how about you say, well, you know, you're pretty good. Why do you say you're, you're not That's bad? what I meant. Oh, you're okay. pretty good. Because <laughs> I, I, if I said, you know what, you're, 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 you're okay. You're a decent coach. No, no, I tell you, you're a good shooter. I, Thank I've you. I've seen you shoot free throws. <laughs> Could I play for you if I don't play defense? Well, we fling up that three pretty quick. Oh, so I know, I, I like that. I think you'd enjoy, <laughs> you'd enjoy our style of play. Break down what, what, if you were coming out of Kenyon and the draft experts were looking at Shaka Smart's game, what would they have said about you? 
Are we talking about the NBA yeah. draft? Yeah, the NBA draft. Well, uh, I think they would have said that I'm not good enough to even be considered. But uh, if they had to break down my game, I was uh, I was a pass first point guard. Uh, I, I was able to kind of make myself into into a good shooter by the end of my career. But I was a guy that always got a lot of joy out of getting other people points. Uh, I love to to defend, and uh, you know, I played Division three basketball, Dan. So another one uh, with that. This is uh, this has been a joy for me, just being a part of uh, uh, you know this run here at, at the Division one level. Because when I play, I told the media yesterday after our game, uh, what, what, there was about probably a hundred media members in there. I said, you know, with the games that I played in in college, this is about how many people were watching us play. <laughs> uh, how many ticket requests? You got people you don't know calling you now? Yeah, I have a lot of new friends, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we, 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 we'll, we'll get a lot of tickets. These games are played in domes now, so, uh, you know, there, there's plenty of seats. Uh, Charlie Sheen just texted us, uh, when he uh, found out we were going to have you on because you had a major league reference there. He, of course, was, uh, the uh, closer there, but, uh, you, you pulled that quote. Uh, how come the major league quote? Well, I like quotes. It, it's something that it's probably my only hobby, Dan. I, I keep a quote list, and I have actually 120 pages uh, on my quote list. And that one is not on my list, but uh, that's one of my all-time favorite movies. And uh, we really use movies quite a bit with our team in, in you know, inspirational clips from movies and stuff like that, but also some funny stuff, some lighthearted stuff. And, uh, you know, I think at that point in Major League that the team had – some sort of setback. I think the owner had cut back on on the budget on the on, on the, the the plane and all that stuff. But the guys all got together and banded together and said, "Hey, let's win this thing." Give me another one of your favorite quotes. What what will you use? You have to have a list there of go tos. You you win the game. You're going to the title game, and your quote for your guys will be what? Wow, as you put me on the spot, and I, I uh, my favorite quote is, is one that uh, actually this is from my wife, Maya Smart. Uh, who is by far the brains of our family. And she says that appreciation is the currency of success. And, and I really, really enjoy that quote because... Uh, no That's too I, deep. That's too deep, Shaka. Come on. You got to give me something simple here. A funny movie reference from Dumb and Dumber, Anchorman. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't know. I... Uh, you know what? Uh, Scarface is probably my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, there's a scene in that movie where, you know, Tony Montana is, uh, you know, I, I guess you would say under the influence. <laughs> and uh, uh, he says, he says, there goes the bad guy. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know, for us in this tournament, we've kind of enjoyed uh, responding to, you know, people not necessarily calling us the bad guy, but people doubting us, people being critical of us. And that's something that we've used as motivation. So. Uh, you know, if we can go down to Houston and continue to play that role, and that's what allows us to win, then that's what we'll do. Did you see where Brian Gregory, the University of Dayton, took the Georgia Tech job? I didn't see that. I've kind of been in a hole here in terms of uh, knowing what's going on in the rest of the world. But BG's a terrific coach, and uh, you know, I used to work at Dayton. So yeah, I, I followed, remember. Followed that program very closely, and I'm really happy for him. He'll do a great job at Georgia Tech. What were you, like 20, 22 when you were at University of Dayton as an assistant coach? I was 24, and okay. I was actually not an assistant. I was the coordinator of basketball operations, and I used to spend the majority of my day in a little uh, six by ten room that we called the dungeon, where I used to cut up tape. Well, it's it looks good on your resume. Well, it was my yeah, it was a terrific opportunity working for Oliver, and, and that's a great program. So, yeah, it was a great two years. Well, uh, maybe you'll be back there. The job's open, Shaka. Well, I, I, I got a great job here, Dan. So, uh, you know, my focus is 1,000% on VCU, and I love it here. My wife loves it here. And, by the way, we're in the Final Four. So oh, that's gonna... right. You are. You yeah. are. Uh, enjoy uh, and have fun against Butler. Thanks for joining us, Shaka. Thanks so much, Dan. All right, Shaka Smart.